Hi, I'm Tom Zeller from the New York Times, and this is my wife, Kathy. And welcome to our new old house. Uh, like a lot of homeowners, we reckon there's problems in here. We don't have a lot of money, but we want to figure out what we can do uh, to make sure that we're doing right by the planet and doing right by our wallets. Our 1,300 square foot home was built in 1950. It has an oil-fired furnace, and like a lot of older homes, it's drafty and probably not very energy efficient. In fact, according to the Rocky Mountain Institute, an energy research organization in Colorado, a typical American family spends nearly $700 a year to heat and cool its home. A good example of that is our $643 oil bill that we just received. But the Institute says we could all cut that energy bill by as much as half by adding insulation, sealing air leaks, and making other small improvements. So one of the places we know air is coming down from is the attic. It's very poorly insulated, and so we think that that might be one of our major problems. One thing that we noticed right away, and I, I don't know that much about insulation, but this looks particularly old to me. <laughs> the Department of Energy says that for attics in our part of the country, there should be at least 11 inches of fiberglass or 8 inches of cellulose insulation. Our insulation is pretty old and we don't have much. There's probably only like three inches of, of insulation here, so I suspect that that's a problem. This room is, it's always cold, right? It's always cold. Yeah. yeah. No. I use this as my office and I'm in here during the daytime and I notice when I, first of all, I'm cold in here and then I, when I walk out into the rest of the house, I notice how much warmer it is in there. So. We're thinking it's both a, a heating issue that not a lot of heat is getting out of that vent, and also um, there's probably poor insulation in these walls. Yeah, uh, the exterior wall, you can actually put your hand on it and if you can feel the cold air. And even when the heat is on, it, there's very little heat coming out of, out of here anyway. That problem might start down in the basement. Well, when we first came to look at the house, we noticed that they, uh, the previous owners had actually just cut a big hole in this vent right here. So uh, recently, Tom put um, a piece of cardboard this is over. This fine <laughs> handiwork here. I actually spent uh, the better part of a weekend on this repair. Um, but it, as Kathy said, the bigger concern is that you know, I'm sure that there was a legitimate reason for doing this because they were they were living down here, and so they were providing heat. Um, but uh, I'm sure that it's also throwing off the balance of, of the heat that's going upstairs. So um, I, I have a feeling that that's, that's an issue. This kind of thing is an issue for us. Those are a few of the problems we can see, but there are home energy auditors who specialize in hunting down spots where a house loses energy and money. I'll be tracking our hunt for an energy auditor and our ongoing efforts to green our home on the cheap at the new Energy and Environment section at nytimes.com.